ranking Democrat on the committee, Adam Schiff. Congressman Schiff, as we speak this evening, is there any evidence of collusion between the Trump campaign and Russia? Well, I think what we saw in the hearing today was Director Comey acknowledged uh, that there was sufficient evidence and uh, credible information that warranted his opening up a counterintelligence investigation. That is, is there coordination with a foreign power? Has someone become an agent of a foreign power? So there was sufficient evidence, certainly for the director, open that investigation. Uh, that's certainly consistent also with what I've seen. Uh, and the way I've described it is there is uh, circumstantial evidence, certainly of collusion or coordination. Uh, there has been direct evidence of deception. Uh, and I think people, I hope, got the sense today during this long hearing about just why it's so important that both Congress and the FBI do a thorough investigation. But to be crystal clear, this evening, as we speak, there is no hard evidence of collusion between the Trump no, campaign uh, Scott, and the Russians. I, I, you you said would... there's circumstantial evidence. Uh, you know, I would not say, uh, I would not phrase it the way that you did. And circumstantial evidence can be very powerful uh, and is hard evidence. But you can certainly prove many cases on the basis of circumstantial evidence. So people shouldn't uh, under, underestimate the power of that. During your committee hearing, someone using President Trump's official Twitter handle uh, took issue with what was being said. FBI director and the director was asked and he rebutted that that was pretty unusual in fact maybe unprecedented for a congressional hearing uh, it was you don't usually have a real-time fact check of a presidential statement by the director of the FBI and the director of the NSA but we did get that today and I think the comment the president uh, had misrepresented was the suggestion that the FBI and NSA had said there was no effect by the Russians on the electoral process. That simply wasn't true. Why do you think that Donald Trump and the White House continue to insist that he was the target of surveillance on the orders of President Obama when there doesn't seem to be any evidence to support that? Well, you know, one of two things. Uh, it's either that the president simply cannot admit error, uh, and that might be the most, uh, uh, well, the least damning explanation, uh, as critical as that would be, um, or the more concerning would be he can't tell the difference between fact and fiction, and he has somehow persuaded himself of this alternate reality. That would be an even worse scenario, and honestly, at this point, I can't tell which it is. Representative Adam Schiff, thank you so much for your time. Thanks, Scott.